What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on PLTR stock. And uh, on today's video guys, uh, I will show you and I will explain you uh, that Palantir becomes uh, more and more bullish for now. I will explain you why is it happening and I will explain you what we should expect next. But before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section uh, if you think these videos are valuable for you. So let's start with the price action. I made my previous video right here at the price of about $20.72 and I told you that uh, we are retesting the range of uh, support at $20.5. And uh, if this uh, range holds, uh, we might have a next leg to the upside that should uh, break uh, its previous swing highs. And for now it is happening, slowly but surely it is happening. And I have to admit that uh, this asset is uh, quite uh, bullish for now. In just several minutes I will explain you what should we expect next. But for now let me remind you that uh, uh, on my previous, uh, on this set of my previous videos, I caught a lot of uh, movements of Palantir. And I uh, still stand on my position that Palantir is a very uh, technical asset. That is why, guys, if you want to enhance your trading skills and if you want to know more about technical analysis, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, for the first 100 subscribers I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis based on your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, guys, and for now it is the most lucrative offer, there is not so many people inside the community. That is why almost 100% of my time will be dedicated to you. And I think it is quite a fair deal. So, and let's continue with the news. What was the news of its recent movement to the upside, during which this asset gained about 6% to its value? And uh, I have to say that the most important part in this movement is uh, this volume that is slightly higher than uh, we had previously. And this volume might indicate that uh, we are in the beginning of new uptrend. As you can see, we are on pre-market hours and this asset uh, is up by 0.32%. And guys, let me show you what do we have uh, from the fundamental standpoint. First of all, I want to show you this article that was published uh, several hours ago and uh, that is titled Palantir is the messy of artificial intelligence, says Dan Ives, most underestimated AI play. Let me quote to this. Dan Ives, the managing director at Whitbush, made the comparison in an interview with Yahoo Finance on Friday. He described Palantir as uh, the messy of AI, probably the most underestimated AI play, maybe tech play, in uh, the market today. And uh, uh, he said, Palantir is the Lionel Messi of AI. It continues to be probably the most underestimated AI play. Maybe tech play in the market today. And uh, Palantir gained uh, about uh, 42% in the last 12 months. And uh, I have to say that a lot of uh, institutional investors are heavily buying this stock right now. First of all, let me show you that uh, Weedbush set the price target on Palantir at $35 mark. And it is more than 50% of upside potential from current levels. On top of that, guys, uh, take a look right here. Uh, we are on the Ernie Trezzi official Twitter account. And this person is a Palantir shareholder. And uh, he is uh, collecting all the news uh, directly related to Palantir. And uh, we know that just recently Palantir published... Uh, a press release with their $500 million deal. And here you can see Arnie Trezzi explained that uh, it is not uh, the uh, new deal as uh, we initially thought. And uh, uh, the new uh, for this deal is only several parts. So it is $33 million uh, deal on, on to onboard third party vendor and government capabilities and $153 million of the potential $500 million is up front. The DoD wants Palantir's AIOS available across the DoD. And DoD obviously is the Department of Defense. 
And guys, I have to say that uh, this uh, deal is another sign that uh, this company will be highly integrated in the Department of Defense. And let me show you this uh, update. Uh, Palantir's commercial solutions will be a part of the larger CJADC2 ecosystem, integrating with other vendors and programs to support uh, battle space awareness, global integration, uh, cont contested logistics, joint fires and uh, targeting workflows. Users will benefit from the current data integrations uh, created as a result of Palantir's work on the fielding AI and ML tools for the warfighter over the past several years. And guys, when you see the word integration, it is very important for the company, especially if uh, their software is integrated into some kind of uh, government agencies. And this is a huge uh, news for every company because uh, the more integrated their system becomes, uh, the more difficult uh, for the government to get rid of uh, this supplier. And this is a, an extremely positive news for Palantir. And that is why, in my opinion, Palantir is a very lucrative asset. So let's take a look uh, on the list of institutional investors. And again, let me show you this chart. It is the list of institutional. It is a, a institutional ownership uh, in uh, Palantir Technologies. And we have the highest level of institutional investors who want to see Palantir in their uh, investment portfolios. On top of that, if you take a look on the most recent activity, you can see that uh, several major companies uh, like Vanguard increased its position by 1.43%, and uh, their total, uh, the value of uh, their position becomes uh, $327.7 million. Next one, they added 5.63% uh, uh, and for now they own uh, $438 uh, million dollars in Palantir. Next one is this one, 2.14% uh, increase and the total position is uh, almost $1.5 billion. And this is, guys, a very important news because uh, it uh, shows us that uh, major institutional investors are betting big uh, on this uh, asset. Despite the fact, let me show you, that uh, a consensus analyst price target is still below our current price. Uh, the consensus analyst price target is 20.65%, which is uh, about 5% uh, of downside potential. So, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, for now I'm pretty sure that we might see the trend continuation to the upside. We already broke uh, the previous uh, swing high and uh, from this range uh, we have a decent possibility uh, to see a tiny retracement and then next leg to the upside that will uh, break several uh, ranges of resistances as well. And from this point we have a decent opportunity to enter a long position. If uh, this asset goes lower we have uh, to accumulate our position incrementally with the stop loss slightly below $20.3 mark because in my opinion this uh, range should hold and uh, we have less and less chances to retest it one more time. Instead of this we might have a movement uh, to the downside and then we might have a next leg to the upside that will break uh, this previous swing highs and that will break even this range of about $23. And uh, when it happens, and if it happens, uh, you will be on a quite uh, lucrative position. Because in general, this asset uh, is set uh, to hit its uh, much higher targets within the next several months. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, 